The Doberiner lamp, also known as the tinderbox, was one of the first modern lighters and a great commercial success. It was invented in 1823 by the German chemist Johann Wolfgang Doberiner. In a glass apparatus filled with diluted sulfuric acid, there is a glass bell jar with a zinc flask. The upper end of the glass bell is closed with a valve that can be opened by a lever, whereupon the gas escapes from the bell, and the sulfuric acid in the glass bell rises and reacts with the zinc. This reaction produces hydrogen which escapes through the valve and is passed over a platinum sponge. The platinum catalyzes the reaction of hydrogen with oxygen. The heat released in the process ignites the gas mixture and it burns to form water. And this is how the fully functional model looks that I built. I will explain briefly how I made it. As usual, I made the brackets from PVC sheets of various thicknesses. Unexpectedly, the making of the zinc disc turned out to be difficult. I put zinc powder into a crucible and heated it. Despite the use of two burners, it was impossible to pour the molten zinc into a prepared sand casting mold. Heated zinc immediately oxidizes in the air, releasing fumes that can lead to metal fume fever. Eventually, I did manage to completely melt at least the zinc in the crucible. However, the crucible broke during cooling. Another option would be to roll up a strip of zinc sheet into a spiral. The nozzle was made of a borosilicate glass tube with an outer diameter of 6 mm. I use a pinch cock as a shut-off valve. After drilling an appropriate hole, I soldered an M6 brass press and nut onto the brass tube. Then the silicon hose is led through the brass tube. If you screw in the brass knurled screw, the silicon hose is squeezed. Brass tubes with different diameters are excellent for building scientific instruments. Another problem was the platinum sponge. There are only a few sources, and such a platinum sponge is very expensive. You can also use platinum quartz wool and make it yourself. However, this requires sodium hexachloroplatinate which is also very expensive and hardly available. Finally, I came up with the idea of using the catalyst wool from a $10 gasoline hand warmer. I'm not sure to what extent the catalyst wool contains platinum or palladium, but it should work.
The zinc disc holder was made from a 4 mm diameter borosilicate glass tube. So let's test the Doberiner's lamp now. We carefully pour 100 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid into a beaker. In the large beaker we use for the Doberiner's lamp, we pour approximately 400 milliliters of distilled water. Then we slowly pour the concentrated sulfuric acid into the beaker with the distilled water, never the other way around. The mixing takes place under great heat. We stir with the glass rod and allow the diluted sulfuric acid to cool. Now we place the upper part of the Doberiner's lamp on the beaker. The tube valve should be open during this process so that the air in the funnel can escape via the nozzle. We do not want oxyhydrogen gas to form. The sulfuric acid immediately begins to react with the zinc. Hydrogen bubbles rise to the top. We can now close the tube valve. In time lapse, it is nice to see how the hydrogen pushes the sulfuric acid out of the funnel until the zinc disc is no longer in the acid and the reaction stops. With the valve closed, the platinum wool is now placed in the holder provided and activated by keeping it briefly in a flame. The Doberiner's lamp is now ready to use.